Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good evening to our beloved lecturer, Associate Professor Dr. Shuz and our beloved friends. So today, I and my teammates would like to present on IMDB dataset for data mining project. So with, before we begin, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Muhammad Nakir bin Muhammad Zaini and with my fellow teammates. My name is Muhammad Hakim bin Muhammad Amrudi. My name is Muhammad Razwan bin Muhammad Razi. And my name is Muhammad Haikal Haizat bin Ahmad Fazli. So without further ado, we would like to begin with the background of this project. So basically, the background for this project is to study the success of movie based on IMDb score that were um, published on the IMDb website. So there's a lot of factors such as a good director, experienced actors are considerable for creating a good movies. However, famous directors and actors can always bring an expected box movie income but cannot guarantee a highly rated IMDb score. So in this case study, we would like to so this, uh, so we like to proceed with our problem statement. So based on the massive movie information, it will be interesting to understand what are the important factors that make a movie more successful than others. So we like to analyze what kind of movies are more successful in other ways get higher IMDb score. So in this project, we take IMDb score as a response variable and focus on operating prediction by analyzing the rest variables in the IMDb 5000 movie data. The results can help film companies to understand the secrets of generating a commercial success of all movies. So let's proceed with the data descriptions. So this data set we get from the Kaggle website. It contains of 28 variables for 5,043 movies, spanning across 100 years in 66 countries. There are 2,399 unique directors' names and thousands of actors and actresses. IMDb score is the response variable as I said earlier, as I mentioned earlier, while the other 27 variables are possible predictors towards the IMDb score. So in this data set, there is 5,043 instances, there are 28 attributes, and the type of this data set is basically a combination of numeric and nominal. So um, we'll proceed to data pre-cleaning by my friends Haikalizat. Thank you. Okay, I will explain about the data, data pre-cleaning because we do this pre-cleaning because the data can be analyzed by Weka. So, we decide to use other tools such as using uh, R language. Okay, first, uh, we need to read our CSV. After that, we remove our duplicate. So, we found that this data set has some duplicate. So, we must to remove the duplicate and keep the unique one. After that, uh, we tidy up a movie title uh, because the movie title have some special character that make Weka can't be read. Okay, next. Okay, split generous. Uh, we split each, okay, sorry, each record of the genre is combined with a few types which will cause the difficulty of analyzing. So we decide to split every generous. Okay, next. Okay, this is about the data pre-cleaning. Uh, first, we must find the missing value uh, using a call sum. Okay. Uh, since the gross and the budget have to many missing values and we want to keep these two variables for the following analysis, analysis. analysis. We can only delete rows with a null values for gross and budget because imputation will not do a good job here. Okay, next. So, uh, we found uh, that the data has column with a missing value. So, we're using call sum to check where the variable with a missing value. Now, we see the aspect ratio has, a, the, has the highest number of missing value. Before trying to input the missing values, we want to check how important is this variable. Okay, for the second step, the most expect ratios are 1.85 and 2.35 for analyzing purpose. We, we group other ratio together. Uh, in order to compute the mean of IMDB score for different expect ratio, we need to replace null value with a zero first. So I do at the step number three. And then for the means, 
of the INDB score for different aspect ratio, we can see there is no significant difference of a uh, dif different or the mean fall in the range 6.3 to 6.8. So removing this variable won't affect our following an analysis. So we decide to remove uh, respect ratio. Okay, next. Okay, deal with zeros. Since there are some zeros value, which should also be regarded as missing value, except for predictor, face number in poster. First, we need to replace null value with column average for face number in poster, then replace zeros in other predictor with null value, and lastly, replace all the null values with their respective column mean. Okay, I do that uh, command. Uh, uh, after finish imputing the num numerical missing value, there are still some categorical missing value. So next, uh, so we do some sort out content rating. Since since still have some missing values in content rating, which are which are marked as double quotes. Okay, first uh, we open a uh, table of content rating. So. Uh, it show the blank should be taken as missing value. Since this missing values cannot be replaced with reasonable data, we delete this rows. Okay, according to the history of naming this different content rating, we find that M and GP uh, must be replaced with PG and X will be replaced with NC70 because these two are what we use nowadays. After that, we want to replace uh, approved, not rate, pass, and unread with the common rating R with, I mean, uh, restricted. Okay, uh, the final result, we see that now we only have five different content rating. Okay, next. Okay, remove column. First, uh, first for the color, uh, we found that more than six. 96% movie are colored, which indicate that, that this predictor is nearly constant. Let's uh, so we decide to remove this column, color column. So uh, the second one is language. Uh, of, uh, we found that 95% movies are English, which means this variable is nearly constant. So we decide to remove language for uh, language column. And the last one, okay, next. And the last one is about the country. Uh, we found that 79% movie are from USA, 8% from UK, and 13% from the other con countries. So we decided to group other countries together to make it categorical variable with less, with less level. Okay, so that's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Afi Razwan bin Muhammad Razi. Uh, I will perform the data cleaning and data transformation. So first, we will open the CSV uh, file. Okay, this is our data. So uh, first is to study numeric attributes. The first one is the gross. So uh, the type is uh, numeric and uh, this is uh, its uh, minimum, maximum, mean and standard deviation. Next is uh, actor 3 Facebook, uh, face, Facebook likes, which, is, uh, which also uh, numeric type. And the last one is, is uh, number of critics for reviews. Next uh, is to study nominal attributes. First, uh, uh, attribute director name which is a nominal type second is the movie title which also nominal type uh, the last one is um, actor to name which also nominal type okay next uh, i will identify the attributes with missing values so we'll choose this filter But, but first, uh, I will show the 
attributes with missing values, which is an uh, actor tree name. We uh, contain six uh, missing values. So we don't want this. So we'll, we will remove it with, with, uh, with this filter. Please missing values. Then apply, and we see uh, the missing value is turned to zero. Okay, next um, is to identify the attributes with uh, contain noise. But our data doesn't contain noisy data because the noisy data is removed uh, earlier uh, at the pre cleaning uh, process by HiCal. So uh, I, I will just show the filter that we can use if uh, there is noisy data. So we will use the numeric cleaner. And uh, we will input uh, the, the value that we want to remove, uh, such as the negative values, which contain error or noisy data. So uh, I will, uh, I don't show to you because uh, our data doesn't contain noisy data. Next, um, I will identify the attributes with outliers. To identify the uh, outliers, we will choose this filter, which is interquartile range. and apply. So this is uh, our outlier and extreme values. Uh, there is uh, 562 outlier and 3289 extreme values. Uh, we don't want uh, this, so we will remove it with this filter, which is remove with values. In instance, So for the extreme values, uh, the attribute index is last, but uh, the nominal indices, we want to remove the yes one. So we will input the last one. Type OK and apply. So the extreme value is gone. Next, the outliers. Using this uh, filter also, but the attribute index, uh, we will change to 46, which is the number of, uh, number of attributes uh, or number of attribute index in um, our data is 46 and the nominal nominal indices we will choose last also because uh, the yes one is uh, the, the last one so we will click ok and apply so uh, the uh, the the outlier also gone uh, by using this filter so i will save it name file clean uh, and this is um our samples of our data sets okay next uh, i will perform the data transformation the first one is uh, to perform normalization uh, when necessary. It state uh, that uh, it's when necessary. So we don't have to do the no normalization as the numeric columns is in a common scale and has no distorting distorting difference in the in the range of values. So uh, I will jump to the next step uh, is to perform to perform a uh, discretization when necessary. So first, I will open the file that we saved earlier, which is um, file clean. Next, we will choose the discretized filter.
we will only discretize uh, the IMDB score. So the attribute indices is uh, 45. And the beans is uh, 4. Apply. So the label will change to this. So we will uh, change it uh, manually uh, in Excel. So I will save it uh, in Excel. Discretize. So we will open the Excel one and change it uh, manually, the INDB score. The first one, we will change it to bad. Second one, we will change to OK. The next one, we will change to good. And lastly, the last one, we will change to excellent. So we will save it. And open the Excel. Discretize. And the label uh, has been changed. So the next one, uh, I will perform the attribute construction. Um, we will uh, use the addition and uh, division. So the, uh, the first one, addition, uh, we will add actor to Facebook likes and uh, plus it with actor three Facebook likes and put it uh, in the new attributes, uh, which call other actors of Facebook likes. To, so to perform this um, attribute construction, we use the add expression um, filter. So first, uh, we identify the actor uh, actor 3 and actor 2 Facebook likes, which actor 3 is uh, at 5, and actor 2 is at 20. So, A5 stands for attribute 5 plus the A20. And this is uh, the name of the new attributes, which is others actors Facebook likes and apply so this is our new uh, actor uh, Facebook likes this is uh, the, val uh, the value next uh, we will perform the division uh, which is um, number critic of for reviews uh, will divide by number user for reviews and, and put it uh, in new uh, attributes which name critic re review ratio to perform this uh, we will use the add expression as well but we will change the equation sorry but first uh, we will 
located the attribute. So the number critic for reviews is two. And the number user for reviews is uh, 15. So A2 and A15. So A2 attribute two will divide by A15 attribute 15 and the new name for the attributes is critic review ratio. So this is uh, our new attribute which is a uh, critic review ratio and this is uh, its data. So I will save it to file normalize. Okay, that's all uh, from me. Thank you. Uh, Assalamualaikum. My name is Mama Hakim. Now I will continue to present uh, the modeling of a classification. And now I will use the data that have been cleaned by Afiq just now. Uh, there are four test options that I will use after this, uh, which is the first one is uh, cross validation with 10 folds and the second one is uh, cross validation with 20 folds and the third one is the percentage split with 70% and lastly is the percentage split with 90% and now I will, I will use the J48 classification method and the first one is cross validation with uh, tenfold. It means that the data have been divided into 10 pieces of fold. Uh, as you can see, the accuracy is 50.6383%. Uh, uh, for the second option, which is uh, cross validation with 20 fold, Uh, the accuracy is with uh, 50.6383, the same as before. And the, the third option is uh, percentage split with 70%. Uh, the accuracy is 46.8085%. And lastly, with the 90% 90, 90 Uh, it is same as before, which is uh, the accuracy is 46.8085. Uh, as you can see here, uh, the there is a question mark symbol in the precision and F measure. Uh, it is because uh, in our, uh, there, are many, there are too many zero in the uh, general, general uh, that we split. Uh, then I will pass to the uh, Nakudin for the next step. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum. I'm, I'm back again. But uh, this time I would like to do a, 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 to do the data reduction uh, based on the data that has been cleaned by my friend Afiq. So um, yeah, this is the data I've loaded in record. So next we will select attributes and then for choose, I'll choose Correlation attribute evaluation and choose method, search method by using a ranker. So why do I choose correlation attribute evaluation? It's because it evaluates the words of an attribute by measuring the correlation between the attributes and the class. So because in movie, in this problem statement, we will like in our problem statement that I've presented before, we would like to find uh, what are the most uh, contributed factors towards the IMDB score? So I 
So by using correlation attribute evaluation, we can measure the correlation, the correlation by using Pearson between it and the classes. So press OK and start. So as you can see, these are the results that were published uh, by the Wicca. So as you can see here, the genre are not important. So we will remove all of the genre inside our Wicca, inside, uh, in, uh, inside of the data set. And as mentioned by my friend earlier, uh, by ha Mr. Hakim, uh, he mentioned about the question mark uh, in Wicca that been presented when he do classify with the full data set. This is because genre that were presented uh, in Wicca has a lot of values of zeros. So after we remove the genre, we will predict that the, uh, it will increase the accuracy and will increase the presentation and all of the um, the TP, FP and such things. So we will, remove, we will also remove actors to Facebook Live and actors to Facebook Live as um, they were already combined inside others Facebook Live by uh, my friend Afi just now in attributes merging as we constructing. And also we remove the names of actors, the name of actors, the name of movies, and the names of directors, directors' name. This is because all of the data set um, is differ. So no point we want to use to predict the score. So there is no actually pattern towards the name. So it has no important or there is no vitality towards using the names of the director, actors and movies. Now I will remove the data that we um, has selected on the select attribute just now. So we will remove, of course obviously we will remove the genres, the alliance and the action values. So we just select all here. We can also remove manually by using our saw, but it's gonna take a long time, so we just delete it, remove it here. The next movie Facebook Live, we remain it. Actors to Facebook Live, we we don't want it because we already combined it with others with actors three, so we just delete it. A year we need we need year we need budget we need content rating we need country number of user. This is also we already calculate the average on ratio. Now a name, we decided to delete it, to remove it. That's what the Facebook Live, we also remove it. Movie title, delete, remove. Actor 1 Facebook Live, remain it, actor 3, because we already combined with actor 2 just now. The actor Facebook Live, remain. Number of critics, we already combined it with number of, uh, number of users of, for reviews. We already created the ratio, the actor's name, we delete it. Okay, so okay, I forgot to do the like this to name. Okay, so there is fourteen attributes left that after we delete the data that has no correlations towards um finding uh the accurate towards finding the IMDb class. So I'll save this data file reviews paragraph and desktop. Next, I'll pass to Hakim uh, for the finding. Thank you. Now, I uh, will continue to do the uh, modeling classification, but uh, with the data deduction that have been made by uh, Nakiudin. Uh, we still use the same uh, classification method, which is uh, J48. And for the first uh, option, which is uh, cross-validation and 10 fold, uh, we get Uh, we get uh, 55.3191 uh, percent and it is increased uh, than before which is uh, 50.6383 and the second option is with 24 and the accuracy is 55.5319 uh, percent and it is, it, also, it is also increased uh, than the, uh, the data before the data reduction, which is uh, 50.6383. Uh, for the percentage split, as percentage split uh, 70%. Uh, 
the accuracy is 46 46.8085 uh, I think there is no increase or decrease uh, it is the same it still uh, remain the same the percentage of uh, the accuracy and lastly for the uh, 90% percentage split the accuracy is 51.0638% uh, uh, it is also increased uh, than the uh, before which is uh, 46.8085 okay now i will pass uh, to the nakidin for the uh, conclusion hello i'm back again <laughs> Okay, so doctor, um, based on our finding using J48 classification model, we found that by using K20, the cross variation 20, um, we, we have the highest value for this classification model, which is 55.5319. While the others, um, uh, it has much lower than this uh, cross variation 20. And as we can see here, why cross variation has much higher frequency than percentage split? Because this data set has been reduced to 400 and, uh, 470 instances as we have removed a lot of outliers and uh, extreme values. So that's why this data set is very good for class, uh, cross variation as cross variation is really good with small data set. While percentage split, uh, we need a large data set to process a model of it. Thus, um, this is why cross validation with the 20k, uh, 24 has much higher frequency. But doctor, we, we, we do not stop here. We also had tried several other uh, cross validation process um, as such as random forest. So we will paste uh, our, the results for random forest in our uh, present presentation slides. Oh, before I, before I forget, uh, Mr. Hakim, can you please uh, show the, visual uh, the visualization tree for this uh, model? Can you make it big? <coughs> Fit the screen? Okay, this is basically the, the visualization tree that we have. Uh, using um, uh, J48. So that's all, Doctor. Uh, anything you can ask us. And thank you so much for watching.